Hey guys, it's Dan here and I'm going to show you how I create my outros for my videos. I get a lot of questions about them. How do I do it? What's the process? So I'm going to show you. Uh, you do have to have a Mac if you're going to do it the way I do and I use a program called Motion 5. Now you might not have a Mac, you might not have Motion 5 if you do. Um, either way, it's still kind of a fun video to watch so you can see how this stuff is done. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is open up Motion here which you can see and over here I've got my canvas so I'm going to resize that so I can see the full screen here now and I'm going to get a square tool and I'm going to draw a square the exact same size that way I know that the video will fit perfectly inside this go over here to my transform tool and I'm going to resize this now I would say to probably about that is a good size yeah I would say that's a good size now I'm going to copy this over. I'm going to go back to this one. I'm going to open up my inspector. I'm going to change the color to green because that's how I border my videos as you probably know. I'm going to feather it out. So now as you can see this one here is green and feathered and this one is not. So let's take this one and we're going to drag this right inside of that. So I think I've got it around center there and that's a good green border around that. So as you can see over here in my layers menu, I've got these three layers and they are all in this one group. So I'm going to take that group, I'm going to duplicate that group. I'm going to take this group, I'm going to move it down just like this, center it. I'm going to open this group, I'm going to take a look at this white layer, I'm going to go to the color. I'm going to black it out. So now we're going to add some text. I don't like this. I think that this could be a little bit more center. There we go. Now we're going to add some text. Press T, click, and I'm going to write last video. I'm basically recreating the last one that you guys have seen. So in my last video, you know I don't like it to be white, so I'm going to go over to Style, and I'm going to pick Gradient and the one that I use is called Desert Sun. This is probably looking a little bit more familiar to you guys now. So let's grab this again and bring this underneath that one. Let's copy this holding down Option, click, copy it down here and I'm going to copy this one into here. So let's take a look at this. Go to Format go all the way down and now we'll type mystery video I haven't seen anybody with YouTube uh, do the mystery video thing so I figured that I would do it. it just gives a little I don't know I'd probably click on the mystery video myself if somebody had it letting somebody else make my decisions for me apparently alright so we'll go to the middle one we'll do the same thing but we'll do question mark question mark question mark we will resize this let's go up Here's the size. Click and hold and resize. Now let's put it in the center and let's add a behavior to that. So we'll go to library and we'll go to behaviors and text animation. Let's go to text sequence and let's get an energetic one. So we go here. What does awaken look like? We can see it in the top left here. Awaken looks pretty cool. Let's use Awaken. So we take Awaken, we drop it on top of there. So now as you can see down here, this is the Awaken um, piece and it only goes, this is a 10 second long uh, clip. I think it's 10 or maybe 9. Let's move this over to 10. I guess it's 9. Yep, 10 seconds. Okay, so then we click it. Now you can see how this pops up over here. And that's how it's going to look. Of course, it's still rendering right now, so it's not going to go very fast but that is okay so what we're gonna do now is take all of this and we're gonna make it one group uh, where is the group I guess we can't oh it's already in its own group okay so now let's go to file browser and take a subscribe button I just grabbed this off the internet um, it's very easy to do you can just screen cap and uh, and take it so that gets put somewhere around between 
halfway between the edge of this and the edge of the actual canvas itself. Put it up here. And now let's grab a picture of me. So let's grab this picture. And let's put me in there. As you can see, um, I have a green screen on, but we will fix this in a second. Let's resize this to 25%. So I figure that I can be shrunk a little. Oh no, I, I'm actually probably pretty good. So what we're going to do is go to the inspector. We're going to click on my group. It's already clicked on actually. And we're going to go to properties. Now over here we have what's called the Y axis. And this will move me up and down as I click and drag on it. So what I want to do is create uh, bring my timeline back to the front and create a keyframe by this button here. Now we move me down out of the frame just like this. Now I want to move over let's say to one second. One second and three frames. Let's click the keyframe button again and let's move me back up right about there. So now as you can see when I move back and forth on my timeline I move because I've keyframed this. Okay so now we gotta get rid of the green screen so let's uh, go to the crop tool and let's just crop my picture here. If you crop it it also has less render time so you don't have to render for so long. And there we go. Now I'm going to go down to filters, go to keying, use my keyer. And what that's going to do is it's going to key out all of the green on here. As you can see, it just happened. Let's go back. Oh, there goes my phone. Let's go back to a regular view, just like this. And let's take a look really closely. Let's go to 100, actually. Let's go down here. No, here and let's move this around and as you can see in this bottom corner right here it's just a little bit fuzzy yet it's still a little bit white so what we're going to do is go back to my picture and we're going to go to sample color right here and I'm just going to take a sample of this color and as you can see it gets rid of that black that the, the, the gray or the white in the black there so let's resize this back here and let's start from the beginning uh, let's get rid of this, let's close the group, and this is what it looks like. Very slowly, of course. So I'm just going to render that out. Let's go to share. If it will work, sorry my computer's being slow, it's just rendering still. Let's go to export movie. Get the little beach ball going on. I do have a very powerful computer, but this is also a very powerful program, too. It's not a very, um, it, it uses a lot of CPU. So this is all good. Open with QuickTime Player Summary. It is um, 720p, 30 frames per second. Uh, let's go next. Let's put it on the desktop. Let's put sample outro. Save that. And I'm going to let this go, and I'm going to fast forward. Actually, it's going pretty quick. I'm just going to fast forward now. I'll see you when it's done. Okay, we're almost done here. It's going to open up with QuickTime Player, as you can see. So here we have QuickTime Player. And this is what it looks like. Actually, I'll take that out. Let that fade away. And this is what the outro looks like. That's awesome. As you can see down here, I have completely not spelt the video properly. Hopefully you've already seen that. Good thing it doesn't take too long to render out. But that is what an outro for me looks like. It's very, very simple if you have the right programs. I know it didn't seem like it took me very long and it doesn't take me very long. The only thing is, is uh, learning the process to do it. Like this, I, I just didn't learn this overnight. It's actually takes a while to learn to keyframe and things like that. So I'm going to show you what happens when I put this in my actual video program now. Okay, so this is my video editing program. It's called Final Cut Pro 10 or Final Cut Pro X, as some people know it as well. 
And so we're going to go over here, and this is my generators menu. And I've created a, um, a piece called Crazy Bad Cuber. And inside of here are all of my templates that I've created in Motion. I'll actually show you guys one here. Uh, let's see if I can get it up. This one here is one that I made. It's the very first one that I made. Uh, I didn't really like it. I was going with some other color scheme, and it's just not the way that I wanted. I don't know how to get rid of it, so it's just going to stay there and not do anything. Here's my original outro, as you know. This is my new outro, the one that we just created. Um, this is the original one that I have that you have seen already, and this is my intro. And of course here, this is something new that you guys have seen. It's just a little crazy bad cuber in the bottom right that you can click to subscribe if you would like to. So let's grab this, and let's bring this into the timeline. And it's going to take some time to render now. So I will get back to you when it is done rendering. Okay, so the video is finished rendering now. So I'm going to show you what I do to fill in this section right up here. So this is my Sheng Shao stuff. That this is the last video that I did, as you know, and I always put you know my last video in there. So I'm going to go to about here, and yeah, it's probably a good part there. So let's go like this and drag uh, about 20 seconds worth, because I know my clip is 20 seconds. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to size it. Uh, sorry, time it for the same is this bottom one. I'm going to take the audio out. Now I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to my transform tool here and I'm going to resize this video. Oh, got to click it first. Resize the video and I'm going to put it in the middle. That's a little bit big so I'm going to resize it a little bit smaller and try to place it in the middle and this is just kind of touch and go as we go here and it's a little small so I just open it up just a little too much there that's probably good now we just center it just like that so now that's centered so as you can see if I turn my transform tool off and I come over here when I press play it shows that video it's it's just being a little slow right now because of the lag but when it renders out it's totally fine and of course for some reason now it's starting to want to render again but it just does that recently so when I press start that's how it looks and then I just make sure that this whole sequence here which I can put together is at the very end of my video clip and that's how I make my outro so thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video